Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Swedes Farm. It's Rich, Holly's behind the camera. We've been getting requests asking about how do you clean your hens when they're, when they're older. You know, we did our video on uh, chick uh, chickens or chicks with, what is it? Poopy, the babies with um, poopy butt. Poopy butt or whatever it yeah. is, uh, where the, encased on the back of them. And I'll put that video at the end. But they're saying when your hens get older, how do you clean their backside? You know, every now and then chickens get, they drop and it sticks to their feathers and then maybe they drop again or they eat something bad and they're a little loose and they get stuck to their feathers. How do we clean them? Well, I'm gonna show you. It's real simple, but uh, I'm gonna need a, a model. Where's our little, our little one? Come here, girl. Come here, girl. Okay. We've got uh, one of our girls, is she good? Oh, she's got a little something there. During the winter, we don't do it very often. Um, and I'll tell you why. We got to keep our girls warm. You know, that's our big concern. So I'm not going to actually do it, but I'm going to show you what we do. We get out our big, I don't know what, just a tub that we've got. And we'll put water that's about deep enough for their vent. I get out. My big pink gloves. When the girls see me with these beautiful pink gloves, they know something's up. And then we go catch the girl. But we put warm water in here. Uh, usually this is a summer thing. We put warm water in and we put some Epsom salt in there. Something just to help them soak. And then we find our little volunteer. Come here, girl. Miss Dirty Butt. And we put them in the, in the water. Make sure that their vent is down in the water. And then all we do, since I've got the gloves on, I'm actually cleaning, there we go, sorry girl. I'm cleaning their vent once it gets wet uh, and try to get that stuff loosened up and get it off the bird. And um, sometimes this is better with two people. Oh, absolutely. There's sometimes where we've got this on the ground. Um, Holly is kneeling on one side, holding the chicken. They don't like being submerged in water and then I am cleaning the vent with the glove on. I would say don't use your bare hands. You're gonna get a bunch of their poop and stuff under your nails, on your hands. It, it can be gross. There's some times where it gets on there and it's on there for a while. Um, and so it takes a while to get it off. Once we get all the poop off, again, we're doing this on a warm day or a hot day, we're letting the girl run around out in the sun um, you know, we're making sure it is 80 degrees at least because I don't want her spending the night wet. Um, and they'll shake off, they'll preen, they'll, uh, and they'll be fine by, by nightfall. We've only done this once in the winter and we actually grabbed the girl and brought her down into the basement uh, and did this. She had some stuff caked on her and I just didn't want it. It wasn't going to be healthy and it was going to get on the eggs if she sat on the nest. So we did it in the basement where it was warm and then we were talking about it earlier. I think I used a hair dryer to kind of dry her off a little bit and keep her really warm. We made sure she was really warm and brought her outside then. I think we had a towel too to help dry her off. So. Something, yeah. It's been a couple of years. I, I don't remember all of it. But it's real simple. Water, Epsom salt, make sure it's warm water. Not hot water, but warm water. Some good rubber gloves and just a nice tub. This is the only thing we use this for. We don't put vegetables or anything in here. This is just for cleaning some backsides. Um, I know there's another container or people have taken like uh, a Rubbermaid, totes. Rubbermaid tub and then they put a hole in the top so that the head sticks out and they can soak in the water. I haven't done that. This was just something we had around. We do have to hold her. Uh, you have to kind of manually do this anyways to clean her vent. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Why do we do this? We need our girls to be clean so they're not getting that on the eggs. We need to make sure there's not uh, poop stuck to their feathers and that attracts flies. Then you've got a fly strike. Then you've got a potentially dying chicken. Um, so it goes as part of our entire kind of health of our chicken. Um, if we start seeing poop, now we've got our eight girls now. I can say there's one that's got a little bit on her feather back feather, otherwise they're in perfect condition for now. So uh, 
If you've got other questions about this or other processes, let us know. Um, it's real simple, but people were asking about it, so I wanted to film and show you what we did. Uh, I'm also putting the video at the end of uh, the chicks. If you want to watch that video, it's actually hilarious. You can see how relaxed the, the chicks get when I'm cleaning their vent. Um, it's pretty funny. So if you've got other questions, drop them below. Uh, if you've got other ideas on this, put it down below. Love to hear your ideas as well. But uh, from a cold December Minnesota day without gloves on outside, um, cheers from Minnesota. See you all later.